So I think you hopped in here because you're interested in editing an iMovie. How incredibly exciting. Well, welcome guys. My name is Marilyn, Miss All Things Tech. I'm so glad that you hopped in today. If you're at all interested in content creation, putting together maybe your own videos yourself, you have come to the right place. I'm here to make it easy, to make it simple. Not only am I pumped that our iPhone 13 mini unboxing video is almost at 100,000 views, go ahead and check it out in the link down below, but we're gonna learn how I edited that video. I'm gonna break it down into probably about three videos. So mainly with this video, we're gonna focus on how to get those clips that we've recorded into the iMovie application and kind of where things are laid out. So this is gonna be a basics um, and then we'll kind of go to intermediate and advanced in the next following videos. But I'm really excited to start this session and let's go ahead and get started. But you're wondering, can iMovie really be done on an iPhone? Don't I need like a fancy MacBook Pro or something like that, Marilyn? Well, the answer is no, you don't. I've been uploading most of my videos using my iPhone 13 mini, not just as a camera, but also as an editing tool. If you don't have iMovie downloaded yet, you can actually swipe down halfway and just search iMovie. So first you're gonna choose which clips you want to add to your video. These were literally the clips I just took that I'm adding to this video for my upload on how to edit with my iPhone. So I'm gonna go through my camera roll and I'm gonna go through the videos. I typically will heart the ones that I would like to definitely use. And then maybe I just want to use some pieces of others. Now, something to keep in mind is that this isn't just for the iPhone 13 mini. Really, it's anybody who has an iPhone or even uses iMovie. Yes, I own the iPhone 13 mini. I think we all might know that at this point and how much I love it. If you're not familiar with how I feel about it, definitely check out some of my other content but this takes a little bit of practice figuring out where everything is in the iMovie application. But I'm gonna go ahead and start either a new movie or a trailer. Now, when I upload things on YouTube, I always am gonna choose movie. In the top right corner that these were videos that were taken today as opposed to um, you know, videos that you took maybe yesterday, something like that, so that way you're not confused. And you would click down here, create movie. Now it'll even give you an idea of maybe how many items you're choosing and how many minutes your video would be if you didn't do any editing at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit create movie and actually scroll through your scrub bar here. I actually would highly recommend going ahead and switching it to a little bit of an easier view of in landscape mode. You can really edit on the go from anywhere. So as a new creator, I want to show you just how you can start making videos on YouTube using your iPhone. I have everything that I need on the go in order to upload for you guys. And that's really the sweet spot with the iPhone 13 mini. However, a lot of people are a little bit intimidated by the whole editing process of YouTube. And I can understand that. I was a little bit intimidated by the whole editing process too iMovie is no different than learning any other application. So here we are in the iMovie application. And first off, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I can scrub through the clips that we went ahead and added in. And I'm going to go ahead and bring you through the layout and where to expect everything to live. I took that screenshot because I thought that might be a good thumbnail for the video. So sometimes I'll use the scrub bar to go and find a good thumbnail for you guys. Here, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the key indicators of where to find videos and photos or your voiceover, your music video clips, stuff like that. And here's going to be your video selection, whether that be your recently added or all is typically where I go. 
So these are gonna be those same clips that we went ahead and added. And what's nice is you can go ahead and make those clips shorter. That's what I was talking about earlier with maybe I just want like the back end of one clip or the front end of one clip. You can just kind of drag and drop right into iMovie. What's nice too is you have the three little dots here that you can choose how you want to insert it into iMovie. Maybe you want a split screen where two things are showing up on the screen or picture in picture where you have one large image and a smaller image. You can also press play, press to see how that clip will be viewed once you add it into your movie. But I'm going to go ahead and choose the plus sign and it's going to go ahead and drop into my scrub bar there. So if you're ever forgetting where things live, make sure that you hit the question mark. You'll learn more. You'll see little indicators of where to go back to your project or the undo button, which I use quite often. What's pretty cool is you can actually click into more info there and a whole user guide will pop up and walk you through even more detailed steps of iMovie straight from Apple. If you're interested and you wanna be up to date on when the session two and session three come out, definitely considering subscribing and hitting that notification bell so that you know when that content is published. Thank you so much for joining me today in the part one of how to edit with your iPhone 13 mini. I cannot wait to drop the second episode. So again, make sure that you subscribe and think about hitting the notification bell so that you know exactly when that video is published. I hope that today was exciting. Eye-opening as to how you're able to edit using iPhone and iMovie together. What Apple really brings is the hardware and the software. So. I really want to capitalize on the fact that an iPhone can really be used as an editing and content creation tool and you can get started today. If you have any clips you want me to watch or anything, definitely think about shooting it over to me. You can always DM me on Instagram as well and I'm looking forward to seeing your videos guys. Alright, have a good one. We'll see you in part two.